Anybody got a job? <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. Welcome. <sighs> Somehow. No, no, that's, that's fine, so. <sighs> you want a statement first? Or how yep, open statement. Okay, well, uh, well, you know, obviously a, a, a good night. You know, I thought the crowd was outstanding. Uh, I don't know when the last time we had a, a sellout here was, but uh, they really gave us a lot of energy and, um, you know, just a, a good night overall. I thought uh, we were fortunate. Uh, we got some breaks around the net. We did not score in our best scoring opportunities. Uh, and Michigan missed, uh, you know, a lot, I, I thought, really good scoring opportunities too. Jamie Phillips played a strong game. Uh, but overall, you know, anytime you can get a win against a team like Michigan, um, it's, a, it's a good win. How impressed with you were, or how impressed were you with the difference in the level of jump over the first five, ten minutes? Well, yeah, I mean, they've got 10 NHL draft choices, a couple first-rounders, and, uh, you know, they get after it, and uh, you could even see that in the third period. But the first period, I thought we were ready to play. Right. And I thought as the game wore, uh, went on, we, we wore down a little bit, and maybe part of that's, you know, you get that third goal and you get the lead, and, and then you, you're sort of hanging in there. But uh, I thought it was a good hockey game. I, I think both coaches probably would like, you know, less penalties in the game, but... Uh, that's the way it was, but uh, anyways, overall happy with our, our start. You guys have allowed just five goals all season. What can you uh, amount oh, to? Yeah, I, you know, obviously Jamie's played well. I, I think overall we played pretty good defensively, but, uh, you know, tonight, I mean, they had some wide open looks, and, and, and you know, we've got, we've got the breaks, really. Uh, you know, we won two games in Ferris, but we could have easily lost both games, and even this game tonight, you know, we got a couple uh, maybe breaks or bounces on the first goal and then on the third goal, and, and they had some good looks. So, uh, But Jamie has played extremely well, and Joe Sean, our goaltender coach, has done a really good job with him. And our, our team works hard. We, we work hard without the puck. We just have to be a little smarter tomorrow. What were the things you guys are doing effectively in the offensive end to generate the chances you were particularly early? Yeah, I thought we did a good job of moving the puck side to side, uh, using the back of the net, and then going from low to high. I know they collapsed down uh, to the net quite a bit, so we actually got the point out to the point, uh, the puck out to the point quite a bit, and we were able to get low and, and find some seams and find some rebounds. So uh, I think that's what you have to do against them. They're, they're big and strong, and, and they defend well. The puck movement that you guys had in that extra attacker situation that resulted in the Carroll goal that uh, that had to be uh, really impressive from you for you guys, right? Well, it was, and uh, you know Chris Leibringer made a good look on that, but uh, Cliff Watson was down there. We kept the puck alive, and, and that turned out to be a huge goal. And uh, you know Tanner probably missed a couple of easier ones than that, and then he you know picks the corner. So uh, good for Tanner. He had a good game. It's good to see him score. Tanner, uh, especially in that late s sequence there with the. Broken stick and trying to kick the puck with his own. He tried to do everything he could to make sure that that puck got out. Yeah, we, we had difficulty clearing the puck out of the zone in the third period. I mean, uh, I know a couple of players had a, numerous opportunities. Uh, for, for some reason, we just couldn't see. It's like a wall there, like invisible wall. We just couldn't clear the puck, and, and they got some really good opportunities, some second opportunities off of that. We have to do a better job. We call that the danger zone, the, the top of the circles, the blue line. And, in our zone, and uh, we did not do a very good job. But but they played hungry. They played with some real jump in the third period, and uh, you know you could tell we were on our heels. Whether we were tired or they just came after us harder. But uh, you know they're a good hockey team. They're well coached. They got tremendous talent, and uh, you know we're going to have to play better tomorrow in, in order to beat them. Is uh, cleaning up some of the defensive stuff the, the kind of the chief improvement area for tomorrow? Or are there some other things you'd like to see done better? Yeah, I think uh, number one, we have to be better around the net. We had some, like, you know, I don't want to say tap ins, but, but some, some pretty easy, I thought, goals uh, in the first period, and we just didn't bear down in front of the net. We, we have to get hungry in front of the net. Now, that's offense, but defensively, uh, we have to do a better job of not giving them the second opportunities, uh, the unforced errors, uh, as you will. Uh, and then the penalties. You know, we have to understand that you have to move your feet. We, we took some penalties and reaching and, and hooking and you know, not saving a goal. Uh, the one that Blake knocked the net out, I mean, that, that maybe saves a goal. So you should consider yeah. that a good penalty. But the rest of the penalties, we've we got to get that out of our game. What was the explanation the referees gave to you on that goal? On that goal? Well, yeah, the puck uh, that Blake did uh, dislodge the net. So that's a delay game penalty. The puck had not crossed the goal line uh, when he actually uh, dislodged it. So, uh, so no goal on that. But uh, that, that could have saved a goal there. They were all over us. Does this win mean anything extra to you coming against Red in the program you've been with for 23 years? No, it really doesn't. I mean, uh, Red's a, a good friend. It's a little bittersweet, you know. I, I mean, I want him to have a, a lot of success in the program. I mean, um, you know, it means a lot to me. 
uh, coming from there, but it really does, and I, I'm just happy for our fans and our community and our team, uh, and really that's that's what I take out of it. You inserted Brent in the lineup tonight. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the depth that your, your team is showing so far this year? Well, we have good depth, and, and Brent, that was his first game, and it, it's hard to have sat here, and he had, probably hasn't played since last March, and to get thrown into a game like this, a situation like this, I, I thought he did a great job. Uh, but we've got a number of guys that could have played tonight. We've got good competition here, and they're going to continue to make it tough on the coaches to, to put in a lineup. And I'm not afraid to make some lineup changes for tomorrow either. I mean, we have to get these guys in games and give them the opportunity to uh, show what they can do. Thanks, Thanks so much. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.